So it has begun. Nitro Rallycross hasn't disappointed in any way. The fans flooded into the Utah track with the dust filling the skyline. Before we get down to the serious business of the day's action, let's just recap the format. So first up is the solo single lap qualifying run to determine the order of battle qualifying, which will then consist of one-on-one -on -one races in a bracket-style tournament. And then the final of the bracket will determine pole position for day two, with each of the battle winners being awarded a single championship point. Practice threw up suspension issues for Travis Pastrana and Andreas Bakarud was also tarred with issues. But to solo qualifying, they all went with Timmy Hansen having the pick of the running order. Believing the track would continue to get slower as it had done between first and second practice, Timmy opted to run first and set a time of 57.391 seconds. The decision paid off as he held the fastest time throughout solo qualifying. Scott Speed was the only driver to come close and Close it was, just a mere 0.086 seconds off Timmy's time. An impressive showing from Scott Speed, who was returning from breaking his back at this very track in 2019 and securing himself second in solo qualifying. Fraser McConnell, who was fastest in opening practice, secured third, and Tanner Faust, an unfamiliar sight in his new Audi S1, set down a solid time in four. As solo qualifying continued, it was all about finding the right line and a way clear of the heavy dust. Larson came off the jump too hot and too high and had a meeting with the barrier, leaving him outside the top 10, which finished up as follows. Timmy Hansen on the top spot, Scott Speed second, Fraser McConnell third, Tanner Faust in fourth, Steve Arpin fifth, Kevin Erickson sixth, Andreas Bakarud seventh, Liam Duran eighth, Travis Pastrana ninth, and Kevin Hansen rounding out the top 10. And so the battle commenced in the battle bracket. Well, Shortly after the top two, Timmy Hansen and Scott Speed cruised through their opening round with a bye. The first battle was a true battle, from one side of the pond to the other, Liam Duran versus Travis Pastrana. A bad start from Liam saw him dipping the clutch and taking the joker on the first lap. Travis had it in the bag from the start and crossed the finish line five seconds clear of Duran. The rounds followed thick and fast with wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. Sparks flew as Timmy Hansen and Travis Pastrana battled it out. They were the first of the weekend to jump side by side. Pastrana showing he knows the track inside out. He was the first car not to take a joker on the opening lap from behind. From the outset, it would seem Pastrana pushed Hansen off as they flew through the joker tunnel. But later, it became clear Hansen had trouble with a broken wheel. The fate of that heat saw Pastrana line up in the final. Arpin put up a strong fight in the semis, but was no match for the pioneer Pastrana. Andreas Bakarud's dubious joker lap decision saw him lose out to Kevin Hansen, which in turn saw Kevin taken down by Scott Speed. Fraser McConnell also fell under Speed's spell, leaving him clear to power through to a Subaru final. Pastrana versus Speed. The pair made an equal start to the three-lap final, with Speed holding a slender advantage early on. Pastrana pushed hard and kept the pressure on, but on the final lap, Pastrana clipped the tires before the gap jump, ending his hopes of passing Speed. The comeback kid was clear of any bad memories the past may have held and powered through to his first ever top qualifier finish. The sight of two Subarus flying through the sky is for sure just a glimpse of what tomorrow has in store. The final qualifying order is Scott Speed, Travis Pastrana, Fraser McConnell, Steve Arpin, Timmy Hansen, Tanner Faust, Kevin Hansen, Oliver Bennett, Kevin Erickson, Andreas Bakarud, Liam Durant, Robin Larson, Oliver Erickson, and Cabot Bigham.